the city of L.A. breaking its promise to dismantle some of the hundreds of RV encampments in the city? Last year, the I-team's Joel Grover began questioning Mayor Karen Bass about the RV problem. He has stayed on this story and joins us now with the very latest. Joel. Well, Carolyn, over three months ago, the mayor's office gave us a timeline to deal with RV encampments. But it appears so far the city is behind schedule. We've been asking the mayor's office... What's taking so long? RVs that house the homeless line this street in the Harbor Gateway area of LA. Nearby, RVs are parked in front of parks where kids play and next to office buildings. One company blasts opera music 24 hours a day to try and scare off the RVs. So that's a new RV? It is, yeah. At this office complex where Lisa Pasco works, many of the workers say they're scared. Are they afraid to walk by these RVs? Yes, they are, absolutely. Coming down the street from the parking lot, they tend to go into the middle of the street because they're not comfortable walking down in between the RVs and then the gates. Across LA, the I-Team has documented how RVs dump raw sewage into the streets, how garbage piles up around them and how sometimes homeless RVs go up in flames, like this one where the RV dwellers had to jump for safety. Are you in favor of banning RVs? Last November, the I-Team questioned LA Mayor Karen Bass about the problem. The RV situation is a lot more complicated. Only after we asked questions, the city dismantled just one RV encampment on Forest Lawn Drive through its Inside Safe program, where it offered the homeless in the RV's motel rooms, with the promise of eventually getting them services and apartments. Last year, the mayor's office told us that this year it would dismantle other RV encampments through Inside Safe in South Los Angeles, on the west side, and in the San Fernando Valley, starting in February with an RV encampment in the Harbor City area. But February came and went and nothing happened. Would you rather live in an apartment than an RV? Without, without a doubt, yeah. I met Chris, who lives at an RV encampment near Harbor City. How did you end up in an RV on the streets? Uh, my wife and my mother died uh, last year and it, you know, I, I broke down. You broke down? Yeah. Chris tells me he would welcome an inside safe operation that would dismantle his encampment while offering the unhoused their housing and services. Any kind of resources to get back up on my feet. If the city offered you a motel room, would you stay there? I, I would definitely, I would, be, I would be there right now. You'd be there right now? Right now. Dave Matthews, who runs the Harbor Gateway Chamber of Commerce, says the RV encampments in his area are keeping new businesses away from here. From a business standpoint, you can't bring new business in because everyone's afraid. Everyone's afraid to come into the areas where the RVs are because we don't know what's in the RVs. And there's one other promise the mayor made about RVs that hasn't materialized. We're trying to do safe parking. Back in November, she told me the city was identifying publicly owned land, like this lot, to create safe parking lots where RVs can park off the streets. Have you already identified some pieces of land? We're working on that right now. In January, the mayor's office told me it was nearly finished with an evaluation of publicly owned land for RV parking lots. We've asked for that list again and again, but still haven't gotten it. Now, the mayor's office didn't answer other questions we emailed them, like when exactly it will dismantle the next RV encampment. They said they're working on it. And we asked how many RV encampments the city planned to clear this year. Again, no answer. We asked for someone, anyone in the mayor's office, to do an interview about this problem. They said maybe next week. Stay tuned because we are staying on this story. Back to you.